Where we start from? Hi guys, welcome back to On The Fence. Um, Jay and Joe are going to go through really quickly their table predictions for the season since they were late to the party. Um, I've already done mine, um, so to speak, really. I didn't really get the full video out, but these are going to go through the tables really quickly. Um, from 20th that up to 1st, and then we'll obviously end the video there. So we'll start off with Jay. Who's your, uh, who's, who's you got 20th, mate? Cardiff. Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Joe? Cardiff. It's pretty pretty certain, isn't it? The the probably the worst team in the league, aren't they? I think Warnock's probably a really good champion. I'd keep hold of Warnock wouldn't sack him. I was gonna, I was just actually gonna they, say if they think... go back down, he's ideal for them. I think yeah. Yeah. he falls into that category of your Steve Bruce's and Chris Hutton yeah. maybe. Yeah. But Chris Hutton's actually had a good chance this year well, with Brighton. Yeah. So well, you know what I mean? He falls into that category where he's a really good championship manager, but yeah. bang average. Tony Pulis. Um who've yeah. you got nineteenth? Jay. Huddersfield. Huddersfield too. It's like he's copying off each other. I, um, I said before, it's either Huddersfield or Brighton to go down. I just think Brighton have that bit more quality overall than Huddersfield do. Huddersfield, I can't see Huddersfield scoring more than 30 goals. He struggled for goals last yeah. season, didn't he? Do you, th- do you think any of these managers probably get sacked quite early on? Like Huddersfield, do you think? I don't, do you I don't think, think Huddersfield will sack him. No, because no. I, I think that would be a big mistake if yeah. he was to do that, to be honest. Um, who have you got in 18th position, Joe? I have Southampton. Okay. Jake. I've got Southampton. Southampton, okay, fair enough. Purely because I think they've got worst, yeah. worst every season since Cummins, Cummins left, and they don't have that play now where uh, they can sell and reinvest in the whole team. Yeah, they make good signings. To be fair, yeah. cause Wesley Hoyt is a good signing. I think Vestergaard is actually is a decent yeah, signing. Yeah, the centre halves are a decent, but but they're not they're not on stand out, does it? Yeah, no, the, exactly. He went on a run last season where they didn't score for five games at all. I d- I don't know what's going on with Gabbiadini um, because I think I think if if Gabbiadini stays fit I think he he could be the difference in them staying up um, or going down mm. similar to Danny Ings as well if they can get them to fit and firing um, they could really be the difference what you, what you reckon to be honest and no top but Danny is Mark Hughes Mark Hughes yeah, <laughs> yeah Mark Hughes <laughs> as well. and he's he's, he's the sole reason I think that he's he is one manager who I absolutely despise how does he get the job. Honestly, how does that fella get a job I time look, and time I again. hopefully look forward to 5 o'clock seeing his miserable face at Goodison after the game. I won't say no more because I'll probably jinx it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hugh, a 3 0 Southampton <laughs> win. Yeah, get in. Um, 17th place, who have you got, Joe? I have Brighton. Brighton. Uh, I said before, I think this has got a bit more quality than the teams that we have in the bottom three. Yeah. They, just, they will just survive. Yeah, because I think they're decent at home. They had a decent home record. They beat United at home. Do you think this year forty points? Actually, I'll ask you first, Jake. Go on, who's you? Who've you got uh, seventeenth? I've got Brighton. Yeah, but I did have the main reason them staying up: defensive stability and watching that Watford game. Uh, not building the confidence on that prediction. To be honest, I think they might go down. Do you think this year forty points, or or the the teams that will survive? Do you think they will need forty points this year? Or do you think? Mm. I think that's always your benchmark. But I think, yeah, because I, I, I think most seasons, the last few yeah. seasons, it's been a bit less now. Yeah, yeah because I, I, I think the influx in the top before. six, top seven now, maybe top eight, whatever you want to call it, they're, they're so good that these teams oh, aren't going to pick up that many points. So I, I feel, I feel like the threshold, the threshold might come down to maybe like a thirty point mark now. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe thirty five mm. points. I think thirty five is probably. Fair. I can't see Cardiff getting more than. I said, I said, I said, I think it's right. Uh, about 35. I think right. What, what did Derby right. County get in that season? They got 14, Derby. 14. I think they'll struggle to get more than 20. Mm-hmm. They've okay. got the frightening thing for me, by the way, is that Steve Osh wanted to sign that as a whole as our striker. Yeah. He, 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 he looked at Okay, let's stop talking about him. He looked at him. <laughs> <Move on>. He's <laughs> good enough for us. Uh, 16th position, Jay. Who have you got? Leicester. Really? Yeah, I think they'll struggle. I think Mar has left them. Right, okay. And really think they've got much else quality to be honest but then uh, they've got quality I just think towards the back end of the last season Puel was in trouble anyway the second things are going bad for them they'll turn I think Leicester will be your, your outlier really to be fair I think you've got it pretty spot on but I think Leicester will do really well because even Joe thinks on his yeah. prediction I might go with Joe yeah. Joe who have you got in, is it 16th yeah, yeah 16th? I've, got, I've gone full pure you, because I, love I you think Joe. Love you, Joe. If, if they continue with the players who've, who they start to win on Saturday yeah, Udi, who can Udi can um, start on Saturday with seven players starting yeah. off the eleven, or out of the new sounds at around ten or whatever. I think they would struggle in that department. 
that but squad, I, I, that squad will struggle yeah. to get take shape by, by even by Christmas. Yeah. But on the other hand, if they continue with that squad, they should improve and they should get you know they should know each other a bit better. That but, squad with with a good amount of chemistry yeah. um, uh, would probably be a mid table side, yeah. wouldn't it? It, it was it's it's a really difficult one to yeah. to um, predict out of the the new teams who came up. Well, the two of two of them, of course, Fulham. I, yeah, I'm I'm not really sure about them. Yeah, I think Mitrovic will will struggle to get ten goals. I think he adds more to their game. Yeah, he was he was a vital part of them yeah. coming up, wasn't he? I think in the, um, the playoffs. Good sign, very good sign. <laughs> I think he is. Yeah, he's a good sign for them, but I think he was awful for Newcastle. Yeah, in yeah. the league, in the I, don't know I just think when, when players find a club that it works yeah. for them, yeah, and I think yeah. he's fine. That's perfect balance, hasn't he? But like you said, you know, they might probably will struggle. Have you got fifteenth, Joe? I've gone Newcastle. Newcastle, okay. Uh, have you got James? I've gone Watford. Right. Why did you say Newcastle, me? Purely because everything was surrounds them. I thought uh, Benitez will be the one who will keep the fans and the players together, but. They've already had a, an argument that plays with the board already. Over, over the, the bonuses. The, the there, bonuses, yeah. yeah. That's, that's really worrying. <laughs> yeah. That's the second season that's happened, apparently. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think it happened last season. Yeah. Think. I think Newcastle will just be okay. But away from home, I don't think they've got enough goals away from home overall. And why did you pick Watford, me? Well, I know why you picked Watford. But to be honest, I, just, I don't think you've got... And to be honest, looking at me, like the notes I made, yeah. I've got nothing about them. They've got I, I, I couldn't tell you anything <laughs> about them. They're, they're just a team. I know they've got Troy Deeney and he's mm. mates with Anthony Joshua. That's about as much as I've got to hear about them. They've got Pereira and he's best ever Charleston. There's not. He's not. <laughs> but they've, got not they've got not. They're not going to go down. No. But they're not going to do anything in the Prem. So no. I think 15th was safe. It's just Watford, so difficult to predict, like from yeah. 15th yeah. to 10th, because all any, the teams are similar. You could pick yeah. any array of them players. Yeah. Any I just think. And it'll be spot on. I couldn't even name you what for starting 11. I know Carnezis is a good keeper. Well, the Sam Ben Foster. Yeah, I think it's Kiko. Oh, yeah, Ben Foster. Yeah. Kiko for me. Kiko for me, Kiko me. Kiko for me yeah. <laughs> Pro, uh, I know Prodel plays at the back still, I think. Uh, it, does Holobas still play for them? Or is it easy to move on? They got Craig Kafka. No, that's not one. Was he ever at them? I think, yeah, he was. Yeah, he was, yeah. Um, <coughs> this has turned into let's name what for starting. <laughs> yeah, just the team. Decore. Yeah. Cavasali at the back yeah. as well. So I probably think, the team I'm least bothered about. Yeah. They've got the core. I, I hope Everton's on. Other than that, I hope is I've good. got no feelings towards Watford. Um, yeah, so let's move on. Who, who's next? What is it? 14th position? Jay, yeah, 13th. Who, I, I, why I, who did I you pick? I love the 14th, mate. No, yeah, it's 14th position, yeah, 14th. mate. 14th. You pick Watford there. I'll pick Watford. Yeah. Same reasons. Yeah, yeah, go on. The, uh, 14th, Jay. I've gone for Wolves. Fucking hell, mate. Bringing a downer to this season. Go on, why did you pick Wolves? I just don't think they're anywhere near as good. And especially after if watching... If they couldn't beat Everton, you've got to After watching them this weekend, they're nowhere near as good as people are making out. I think Neves is going to be brilliant for them. But I think that's about as far as it'll go for them do you think? He, do you think he can have like a good season and drag them away from the, the relegation? Yeah, that's the reason I've got them in 14th. Yeah. The sole reason, because yeah. I don't think Conor Cody has sent the going to... Here we go. Liverpool players. Former Liverpool players. Oh. Yeah, no, you're up to 13th, because... You, uh, yeah... Just trust me, yeah, you know, you know. But oh, yeah, I don't. I think I don't. Think, I think Conor Goldie is probably a good player, but I just think when he's your main man at the back, I yeah. don't think captain is he. I think well, he was. Yeah, yeah captain. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. I don't think he's gonna. Nah, don't see it for them. I, I just don't. Well, he never. I mean, it's 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 evident he never made it at Liverpool. One of the reasons why was because he never had enough pace to sort of make it because he was a centre defensive midfielder. Um, can he lead a what a Wolves team out of relegation? You know. Can we see? I, I I definitely thinking about it there. I don't think he could lead a, t- a Watford team, uh, a Wolves team. Sorry, to top eight, really, um, especially in the first year. So you know we'll move on. Thirteenth position, have you got Joe? I've gone West Ham. Oh, I thought I said West Brom. Then thirteenth um, um, position, Jay. Who've you got? I've gone Bournemouth. Okay, why did you say Bournemouth, Jay? Same, same last season. I just don't, yeah. I just don't see. Them I can't see them change, and I can't yeah. see them. They're not going to change. They've got the same problems last season. Sorry, this season as they had last season. It's not going to change. The two good to go. I think the other two good to go down. I think yeah, the other's a good manager. I just don't see them kicking on. I think they could. They could. They've got all the potential there to kick on. They just won't. Yeah. That that that's that's the only reason to be honest. At what position there in the table for you have you sort of cut off the teams who are in danger to then the teams who aren't in danger? Because um, I feel like around 14, 15 is kind of the teams who who c- probably are in danger for a lot of the season, but then 
towards the end they kind of stay away, steer away the from teams it. Are, the teams are hand on heart think they could go down this yeah. season. I'm probably Se- 17th. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd say from 15th and I've gone Newcastle there. Yeah. So everyone so, I'll go Fulham Brighton underneath them. So 13th you had West Ham wasn't it? Why, why did you yeah. say West Ham? Too much too soon. Yeah. Really. Uh, I don't think that a club who have got an identity no more. Yeah, I know. They've moved from that stadium to the Olympic Stadium. It's not the London Stadium. It's the Olympic Stadium. It is the Olympic Stadium. Yeah. I don't, West Ham don't buy well. Yeah. In my 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 memory, don't the they don't they don't <laughs> buy well. Do you know what I mean? That they've never really bought. Wouldn't well, surprise me if we had to buy Philippe Anderson for that money. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Who've you gone to? Uh, I've gone Wolves. Okay. Uh, same gone, reasons. I've gone Newcastle. Okay, same reasons, really. Well, I just think Benitez will just get them to twelve. I don't think yeah. he's going to kick around. Twelve? Do you think twelve's good for for Newcastle, or do you think it's an underachievement? I think for the size of the club, it's probably not as great as they could have. I think they should, for the size of them, be top eight, top nine. Yeah. But in context from the seasons recently, with the squad they have, I think the fan. It's most important what the fans kind of want yeah. and expect. If they finished, I'd say either ninth to twelfth, you'd probably go okay. Get my Ashley out. That that's what will normally happen if, yeah. if they stay up anyway even if they went top four they still want them all because he, yeah, he's just well, yeah. he's bringing a really poisonous mm. fucking atmosphere at that club um, what would we do 13th then yeah we're on 12th oh no you did, you've done 12th so uh, you've got Burnley 11 I've gone Burnley 11 why why why, why? I, th- I think they, they would be alright I don't think they'd be spectacular but I think they'd just be solid 10th yeah. uh, 11th mid table yeah I do you think, think they'll, do you think still they'll get in. through in the Europa League um, to the group stage Past Olympiacos of all teams, like no, and I think got, that's a tough, tough one. Because the, 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 the next, got, they've got the second, yeah. home, uh, the second leg. Yeah, at home against the, that, the Istanbul Bakashir, whatever I his name is. I think they'll go. Do you think? I think it'll benefit them in the league, obviously, for them. They want to go on. They have a bit of challenge, have they? They've brought in Joe Hart. I think Joe, I think Joe Hart could be a really pivotal one because he, he's got. Well, he, he was always a great keeper, but at West Ham he was found out really badly mm. for. Is, what is it? His left left hand side. Left hand side. He just yeah. can't dive to his left hand side. Teams will probably will probably pinpoint that weakness. And he come out in uh, in like the post match after Southampton and said, he said um, something along the lines of, "I've got like I've got a lot of love for Manchester City, but I'll have to try and reboot my career basically." Which it's, it kind of sounds like a defeatist mentality, doesn't it? And he's gone a long way from what he was, which he was like a title winning goalkeeper to now he's in like a mid table to lower mid table goalie now, mm. and that just seems so mad to think, but. That's that's where he's come to now, um, but yeah, it could could be a potentially could be where he rebounds his career and makes himself great again, or you know, um, or I don't the per- I don't personally think he'll start for them. You not think? <coughs> I think he made that sign on the back of he, well, um, Nick Pope's injured. Uh, yeah. Tom Pope. Not sure how Tom long Pope he's out for. <laughs> Nick is Tom Eaton still injured? <laughs> I, that's that's what I mean. I don't know. Maybe, maybe 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 they're just in rotation like for leagues and stuff like that. Well, I'm just trying to sign every England goalie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Butler's <laughs> next, yeah, and then Pickford. Um, did, did you do your 12th, Jay, or 11th? Is it 11th? 11th. Yeah, 11th. I've got West Ham. Yeah. To be honest, I'm being polite okay. to them. I am. What is this West Ham Everton rivalry? It's not a rivalry, they're just it's, shit. Okay. It's just, <laughs> it seems to be on Twitter, West Ham, that West Ham Central seems to, for some reason, target Everton. Okay. Because we're seeing as like, with us. yeah, we're seeing as like the, the smallest club in that, Top eight, seven, yeah. top seven, whatever. Yeah. Seven. Um, and they're trying to trying to get to you, yeah. basically. Yeah, I, 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 I feel like it's similar why. to it's similar to Liverpool, Tottenham in a way because we're kind of now in that position where we're jostling around like they were the team who were just getting fourth. Now we're scraping that. Yeah. And it, you know, it, it kind of like a bit a bit petty. You know what I mean, isn't it? Um, uh, to be honest, it came from when apparently the beat us to Aubameyang. Um, Aubameyang <laughs> what's his name? Um, Aubameyang. Yeah, Aubameyang. Yeah. Sorry, Aubameyang. But. Um, I think it was a 2016 something like that and yeah. apparently they beat us to pay well let me just say you, you dodged the bullet there 10th yeah. um, position who have you got Jay? I don't know yeah, hang on Crystal Palace yeah. I think good, they, good position they just, for them, they, just, yeah. they just rarely suit each other then. I think yeah. Hodgson's their ideal manager I think Palace are Hodgson's ideal club I think they match really well mm. I think he's got them playing probably the way they should be playing 
the way but, they want to play. But when the ball was brought in by um, the chairman, I can't remember his name, Hugh Jenkins, isn't it? Something like that. No, um, Steve Parrish. Steve, Steve Parrish. Parrish the, the, reason why, I know, yeah, the reason why he was brought in was, wasn't it to play you know, like a more attractive brand of football, yeah. do you think? <laughs> yeah, do you think... They didn't score a goal in yeah. the first six or seven <laughs> do, you think maybe, do you think maybe that's something that they might move to again in, in, a, in the next couple of years? Maybe they might try it again with somebody else? No, yeah, because Hodgson's got maximum, like, I'd say if they're stable enough and they're not sucked into another relegation fight, I think maybe if they continue to, well, I've gone, I've gone with them ninth. Let's hope Palace don't get sucked off. Okay, ninth Eight, position, yeah. Sorry. Ninth. Um, I'd, I'd, to be honest, I forgot I'd even add easier for the league record now. Fulham. Okay, Mike. Why do you think they're high? I don't. Who would you, <laughs> to be honest. Dead quick, dead quick then, who would you swap them with? Uh, hang on. See, we've, we've got near the bottom here. Let's well, just fill some if time. I had to, if I had to swap them with anyone... My new book's coming up. I'd go for Bournemouth in 13th. I think Bournemouth could... Just while we're filling some time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video, please. Come on, let's go. A proper plug, that one. <laughs> yeah, it was a plug. It was a, it was a, a shameless plug, I don't care. Who, who did you swap them with? Uh, Bournemouth. I Bournemouth. think Bournemouth will probably get ninth. I think Bournemouth there. are a more settled side, aren't yeah. they? I think they I can d- they can start to call themselves like regulars now, really, can't they? They're, they're sort of like in that mould of where Stoke were a few years mm. ago, where they're, they're starting to really, you know, cement themselves in the league. And obviously, Eddie Howe now is the well, longest yeah. manager in the Premier yeah, League, isn't he? Crazy, that. crazy. Yeah. Four, um, four associations. Yeah. Um, so, who's next? You've got, what are you at to? Eighth or um, ninth? Leicester, um, ninth, ninth you've got. I've gone Leicester. Um, I just think they're better than everyone else I think they've got a bit more quality than probably Bournemouth I think they've brought I think they bought well yeah. I think uh, Madison's played well against United the other night Gazelle kind of looks like a, like a gazelle for like, <laughs> <laughs> like for like replacement for Mahrez yeah both I like right. the new sign to be fair I was yeah. saying it to you before we, we recorded um, the, uh, the stuff before. they probably now they probably need to upgrade on, on Vardy mm. I know he's just signed another well, they have a five year contract has, no, he, has he really? Actually, actually, has Vardy yeah. signed a five-year contract? Yeah. I don't. Sound I, I think a lot of what Vardy, a lot of what Vardy brings to the table is just his pace, really. And mm. I, I think once he gets past thirty, I think he'll lose a bit of that. Um, can he still find the back of the net? I don't know. You know. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. Well, you know, he, he hasn't really had the best of seasons last year, did he? Um, he still got a good eighteen goals, something like that. Did he? Yeah. Still yeah. Got, he still got for, since he won the league, they've got less and less. Yeah. The Which got is league. natural, isn't it? Yeah. But. Uh, Ian Atchell was definitely not going. So eighth position will go, Joe. Off you go. I've gone for a surprise one. I've gone Palace. That's weird. Why? I think, as Jay said, Hodgson and the fans and the place all seem to be together. Saha was the most important thing for them to over the summer. The the brought in Max May, who apparently can pass the ball. Okay. Which it's no, for a footballer. <laughs> for a footballer. Yeah. can pass the ball really well without assisting or scoring. Hasn't got, yeah, um, I was going to say, hasn't got a good, a good but, stats um, in that position, but... No, I think they're quite decent at home, and they've shown against Palace that they can, um, against Fulham, that they can hit teams on the counter-attack, and with Sahara up front, who's, who's playing as a a one in a two up front, seems to be, I think, should be the real deal. One thing I want to say though, I didn't I didn't mention it in the um, the other podcast, is that, that the right-back one Bissaka. Yeah. yeah, very good, wasn't he? He looked good. I think left back as well. I put him on the bench in my fantasy team on the weekend, and he looked he, he looked good the back end of last <laughs> yeah. season. And he, although, to be fair, I thought I thought he started Ward, off well. Yeah, I thought Ward was going to come back in. Although, although but S- is Sacho and is a scuff down. Yeah, the centre off Sacho terrifies me. I think he's in a good way or a bad way. Bad way. Like like he's, um, he's bad or. He just just clumsy. Yeah, yeah. He dived in on, uh, on against yeah, yeah, Shell, yeah. isn't he? Which could have been a penalty. Mate, to be honest, the thing I, I still laugh at is now when we beat Palace back end last season when Salah scores that goal, Sacco's trying to throw his head at Salah's feet and it's just it's it's ridiculous. Yeah. He's just got that brain fart, hasn't he? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's the, like, they brought in a goalkeeper to I'm not sure to to be the number one, but the they played Hennessy who apparently played well at the end yeah. of last season. Yeah, yeah. I think he he's another one who's Hit can make a mistake every now and again. But overall, I think I'm going to stick with Paris. To Form, he's eight. actually a former Wolves player, which mm. is a bit of good trivia for you. Um, yeah. I get, did you do eighth? No, position? I've gone Burnley. And I knew that because Phil Neville scored an absolute screamer passing against <laughs> well, that, Wolves that and um, Billy Letnoff. Yeah. yeah. For all you Liverpool fans out there. Thanks, mate. Um, call him Billy. <laughs> Who's got eighth, Jay? I've gone for Burnley. Go on, Why I it? just think... Is Clark Carlisle inspired you to pick Burnley? 
Not particularly, no. <laughs> Sean Dyche then? Sean Dyche has. I think Sean Dyche is just... I, th- I think he's outside that top seven, the best manager in the Prem. Yeah. I don't think he'll ever get to kick on. I think if he was going to get the chance, it was going to be with Everton when mm. we got feel, the decouement. Do you feel like he's another... And now, I don't mean this disrespectfully to Sean Dyche, but in case you're watching me um, do, do you oh think oh yeah I am watching <laughs> <laughs> watching what a blank screen <laughs> you're listening, you're listening if anyone in his bedroom probably rubbing one out um, no I think do you think he's another kind of the Tony Pulis in that as well because he, he's, he always does he'll always do well outside the top seven whatever but he'll never get that top job mm. do you ever think he'll cause, no I think he's better no, than I think he's more no than I, that. I, I, sorry I don't mean ability wise I think he's much better manager than Pulis yeah but he'll never get that chance in the top club just because of the way he plays yeah, football. I, I think him and Eddie yeah. I think they're both caught in that position now where yeah. the two of them have got it. They're Stick. not going to get that chance. I think you've thought you've just got to try and develop the clubs that are as much yeah. as you can. But, which is hard because b- both clubs are very similar in terms of lack of budget, lack of fi- finances and very small stadiums. Um, you know what I mean? So it, it, they're, they're pretty much up against it really in a fight and losing battle. But you know they're, they're both doing very well where they are. Um, so we'll move on to seventh position, Joe. Arsenal. Awesome. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wonder what, what's coming next. <laughs> what I've seen on Saturday, it's a short promise. What could be in maybe two years? Yeah. Where Emery, if they keep Emery and do not moan about him every single game on against a camera, but I think he's fucking shit. <laughs> DT, not yeah. bad. Um, <laughs> Uh, it's out there. It's out there. It's yes. out there, mate. That's us. Never teaming up with them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but go, go, go on troops as well. <laughs> and everything oh. beyond their kind of like strikers on only their strikers really who yeah. possibly yeah. the front three terrify yeah, me. Really. And if everything beyond the midf- everything beyond the strikers, the midfield and the defence. Claude's uh, put on a bit of weight though. Moment, he has. He looks really big. I don't watch it. He, he, like, he, I watch the honest, meltdown when they go around Twitter, but I don't yeah, watch the actual channel. Back itself, end of right? last season, he looked like a skeleton, didn't he? And over the summer, mm. it looks like he's been a bit happier. You know, mm. ate a few more ice cream things like Not that. Not the way Cup was on. Yeah, and he's, he's kind it, of yeah. like he's he's proper bubbled up. Yeah. Anyway, Jay, who's your, who's your seventh position, mate? Man City, no one. <laughs> <laughs> Complete meltdown. <laughs> MCFC TV. <laughs> Guardiola, <No>. he's bold. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fraudiola. <laughs> Why have you, you got? Go I've gone Everton in seventh. Okay. I don't think. I think. I feel like that's humbled you really, hasn't it, mate? You feel. I feel very. Um, I feel like you didn't want to put him. Put him seventh. To be fair. No, I'd be happy with seventh. I think. Is seventh, it seventh European places? Is it? Fucking okay. If a, if a um, <laughs> top six club win the league. All oh, right. Okay. W- would you prefer to sort of? I'd rather finish if we were going to finish in Europe. I'd rather finish sixth or eighth. I don't want to. I don't want seventh and go have to go through the qualifiers and miss out on a pre-season. Maybe I'd rather finish eighth than I would seventh if it was going to come down to the European places. I think. I think to be fair, sorry before you do carry on, <coughs> the the money that you get from the Premier League, it's not a lot of difference between the fifth, sixth, you know, all them, like even first and fourth. Because I think we we got a similar amount of money when Chelsea won the league. We got the same amount of money as Chelsea did that season for finishing uh, fourth. So money wise, it doesn't really make, make a difference in what position you finish from the TV rights and stuff like that so I don't think that's a big deal for you um, so I feel like finishing 7th anyway is not too bad no I think I think 7th will be a good season for us I think you, we could push for 6th and I think we'll be closer to 6th than we will to 8th personally Yeah. but I just think it's probably just a bit too soon to just break into that so I think we'll, we will because it's whatever we will slip up a uh, the likes of Huddersfield and Brighton and the, the teams like that. <laughs> I could just feel the room just go <laughs> right down there. <laughs> it's just the fact. It's just the fact. It's a new era. It's just the fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it this room just went like a balloon then because we've got a few Everton fans in the room and it just went. <laughs> the room it's just, just the fact, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, we, can, right. we can all see at some point this season, Yeti Mina will get sent off <laughs> and Phil Jagielka or Michael Keane will come in. There will be a. And then get sent off. Long and ball in the last City minute. Also. <laughs> yeah, ping forward from Jeffrey, Jeffrey Schlupp. Ben Teche will go for the header, miss the header, and Michael Keane will just stand there. Ball will bounce off his fucking shoulder or something right into the top corner. We'll get beat. 
Pickford's little arms won't even get there. It'll be, it'll be going wide. Pickford won't be in goal by this point. It'll be going wide. Not to Man City. <laughs> Next game midweek beats it. <laughs> Start at standard for Everton. But, yeah, let's just be real. We, we're still Everton. We're, yeah. we're finishing seven. So, what have you got in six, Joe? Oh, I've gone Everton. <laughs> <laughs> what, even if we... Just say if we didn't make them signings on, on Deadline Day and we saw that same performance as we did on Saturday, I still would have probably had the same outlook. What Marco Silva could do with that squad of players who underperformed over the last two seasons gets me a bit excited, to be do, honest. Do you know what I see uh, in you two? Do you know what I see? Well, in you, Joe. I see a Liverpool fan in 2013 when Brendan Rodgers came in. Now, that's not a bad thing. Because we played some unbelievable football, and it then, it then allowed us, it then allowed us the platform to then get Klopp. Now yeah. I'm not saying Marcus Silva will have the same trajectory mm. as Brendan Rodgers. He probably will do better because Brendan Rodgers seems to flap it. Look at tonight's result: AKF Athens have knocked Celtic out of the Champions League. But, but I feel like that same optimism is coming off you, and and it's a good thing for the for the city more than anything. I said this to you years ago when Martinez was um, the manager when we had Rodgers, mm. and I, I would. Like walking home from school, and I used to say to you, um, it'd be great for the city if, if two te- oh, the two teams are both in Europe, you know, like a Tuesday and a Thursday or whatever, or a Wednesday, you know, both teams are in Europe, and it'd just be great for the city, to be fair. So I personally hope you do, just as long as you just don't, you just stay away from us and just don't challenge yeah, us. That'd be great. The most important thing over for me this season is just enjoy it. Yeah. I want to yeah. enjoy going to the game hey, when, when the, the game. full fans say that it's fucking it's wrong though isn't it I, 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 know, can, I can't be arsed. I'm not like that I'm like I can't be arsed with us being 1-1 after like yeah. half an hour with I don't know some like far off the back Watford yeah and Togson gets a chance misses it yeah. and then everyone gets on the game you're fucking yeah. shit you're like, like, but I you, can't you, be arsed with that That which is standard it's gone and happened you don't want another again. season of celebrating corners and a made sad derby at home do you do you know what I mean? Celebrate. So, um, so. Celebrated the most blatant penalty given in the middle of the season. But, um, so we're going to go, who have you got six, Jay? Who have you got six? Me? Yeah. I've got Arsenal six. Okay. I think, I think million miles away from the top four, they are. Yeah. That's, that's a given, yeah. That is. Yeah, they are. Uh, it's crazy that, what, two years ago, they were the most, the big, the longest mainstay were they in the top mm. four in the Premier League. They 20 just, years in the top four. Yeah, they were just there constantly and now within the space of two seasons they've just gone from that to seeing so far away it's frightening. Well they've and always, even when they finished in the top four they were always so far away from the league especially the last like five, six years. So it's it's no surprise that this is happening now but do you feel like maybe they've missed a trick where if they'd have got rid of Wenger a few years ago, when Gua- like when Guardiola first came in and Man City were having a transitional period, maybe now it's too late for Arsenal to have that period and then get back up there because now that gap has opened up even more, hasn't it? I know what you're saying, but there's always transitional periods in the Premier. I mean, you look at the season Sorry. Martinez to forward as well, and you had David Moyes at United. Well, we had the solid foundation, <laughs> didn't we? Yeah. Arsenal thinking hasn't well, left anything, anything at, the, at Arsenal right now. Yeah. It's other than things just. Aftv. <laughs> yeah, Arsenal. They, they just annoy me at times because they should be the, one of the most enjoyable teams to watch. But then you look at know. Stan Kroenke now. Uh, looks like he's taken over. You know, you were saying before, Usmanov could be coming to Everton. Yeah, um, Everton. Stan Kroenke's now both are uh, like the shares of Arsenal now, one hundred percent owner of Arsenal, which which just to me it just screams negativity because it's uh, not in the fans one there, do they? Mm, no. Um, so we'll move on anyway to fifth place. Uh, Who have you got, Jay? Uh, I've got Manchester United. Okay. Because they're going to self implode. Right, okay. Jose Mourinho is the biggest head case in the Premier <laughs> League. He is. He's like when your beard gets a mood on and everything just fucking for a few weeks just goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is that. He's, he, he's, <laughs> definitely the, he's definitely the husband of home now. When he's having a, a, a like a, a Barney with his girlfriend, he, he doesn't wash the dishes or something. Like yeah, that. He, he is. He gets, he just, he gets like he leaves. He leaves like he leaves like like a, a chocolate in the in the bowl or something like that, and he, yeah, he, and he, he makes sure like, that she knows it's there. When he walks into like the living room, his kids just go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his kids definitely get on the PlayStation yeah. at like yeah. half nine of a night. You know what I mean? Even on school holiday, do you know what I mean? That's just the kind of person he is, isn't he? And I get the feeling the Chelsea dressing room, um, the Chelsea, the Chelsea. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, they didn't want to know. But the United <laughs> one won't want to know. No. Come come January, I think they'll get bored. I think they'll stay till the end of the season. 
But I think he'll go off. To I want him to stay. I think he's doing a great job imploding uh, United from inside. Um, fifth position, Joseph. I've gone Tottenham. Okay, that's quite interesting. Why, why do you think? This is the one I'm not so sure about. Yeah. Or it could, it could happen though. That's it could go either way. Because they haven't made a sign and haven't improved the starting eleven. That could be a good thing. I'm fuming, by the way. You've got that team second. The team you've got second is just ridiculous. <laughs> Carry on, Yanni. Fifth, fifth place. <laughs> Fucking fuming me. Absolutely. Just raging. Up. Go on, let's go. Um, fifth position. Yeah, Tottenham. They've got one of the best strikers in the league. Maybe the world. Yeah. Probably not, though. Mm. Ma- yeah. is he? Maybe. I think he is. On out to which is. I, I, <laughs> by the way, I could not bear him. Yeah. No, I, to but, be honest, yeah. as much as I hate him. what he did to that phenomenal Panama team. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really difficult to go stuff him, so I've just had to put the most out of the top four. See, everyone seems to do that every year, and they yeah. always come back and surprise yeah, you and bite you on the ass. That's what it is, isn't it? Um, if it was to change, I'd probably swap them with fourth. Who have got fourth? Okay, who have you got fourth then? I've gone Chelsea. Who have you got fourth, Jay? I have gone for Chelsea. Okay, why Why Chelsea? Because... Finish each other's sentences, go on. Sorry, boy. Traumatic. Okay, um, <laughs> but Sorry, well, he hasn't won a league, so he's not going to win anything back from Chelsea. Um, only because that group of players, what they have now, have experienced swap, swap, swap of managers every two seasons. And I think I don't think there would be a massive transitional period for them. I think they would get on a run, and I think they would yeah, do them enough to keep them in the top four. They've got a squad there though that have, have won the league before, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. So what do you reckon, they've got, um, I think I just think that I think United will drop out of the other big three. <laughs> I don't think I think they they'll show sign the playing brilliant football, but I think to go for them. Conte was a defensive manager. At, at times, he probably won the more defensive in the league just after Mourinho and Dice, you'd say. Yeah. I think they didn't. Oh, Dice! <laughs> in, yeah. Jesus Christ, I was quite forgetting about that. I thought we fucking memory. <laughs> I was going to say something about Grand with punt there. Okay. But I'm um, not. <laughs> take a punt on who's your third position? I've had to go to Liverpool because I'm not. an Evertonian and I cannot have Liverpool cause me anxiety issues. For the rest of the season. Mental health is a real <laughs> dangerous yeah. thing, mate. And you, so, you you know, if Liverpool cause you this much grief, I'd just stop watching football, to be honest. No, it's it's not necessarily the club, it's just what everything goes around them, which fucking people annoys like me. Annoys people me. like me. Podcasts like this. On we're, s- on um when it's right, on Sunday I saw a go. fat bloke walking around with Ella Allison goalkeeper kit on. Uh, <laughs> fat nonce. <laughs> <laughs> In Jay, who have you got fair? Who have you got fair? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> I don't think he's got a top bad, let's be honest. Uh, I've gone Tottenham. Okay, do you think they're going to have a, a good... Do you think it's a good season for them finishing third, mate? Tottenham? Yeah. No? Okay. I don't... I think they'll finish third because I still think that Pochettino is probably in the top three best managers in the league anyway. For me, is. And then I'd say... Like you said, Harry Kane, he's still got Kane. Mm. He's still got Christian Eriksen, who for me is after the Bruyne. Yeah. And Silva, probably the best playmaker in the league. Yeah. Then you've got Moussa Dembele, who I rate massively. Yeah. Trippier, probably after War for best right back in the league. Mm-hmm. I'd go with... No. Trent. Coleman? You still think Coleman, yeah? I, no, I think mm. Trippier. I think set piece wise yeah, in, set in the World Cup, he was fantastic, Trippier. And I just think... Yeah, you know, I, 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 I tend Sen- to agree. Centre back partnership. Well, if, you, if you've got a centre back yeah, partnership, the, that can the, keep the all the vinyl out. Kind of defensive. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. They, yeah, they're, just, they're, just, they're just a really good. They've got the second best goalie in the league as well, and Hugo Lloris. The only fast, thing what I don't like fast. about Pochettino at the moment is he hasn't decided if he wants to be a tracksuit manager or a suit manager. <laughs> on um, on Saturday, he was wearing a suit, and he didn't suit it for me. Cut his hair a bit short as well. He's cut his hair short as well. Yeah. Where like a manager needs to have an ident- identity. Klopp has got the tracksuit. And the bad teeth. <laughs> yeah. Guardiola's got like the jumper and, and the jeans or whatever. Mourinho has got the suit. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, the piss head looks. Sorry, <laughs> um, it's got the triple XL t shirt apparently because that shirt on Saturday didn't suit him. Didn't fit him. <laughs> What's Marco Silva got? Marco Silva has uh, just a super off the tight. With spiky hair, you know, 
He's unlocked. Looks like he's stuck in 2008, well. <laughs> Um Who have you got second place, Jay? Liverpool. Okay. Go on. Go on, why? Because <laughs> they're not the best team in the country. Okay, fair enough. That's all. In, in the question, and this is just going off the prediction, I'm going to want to know a genuine answer to this. What will be Klopp's target this season? Is it the league or is it another, Klopp's, good, I think, is I it think another good run in the Champions League or is it to win something because he hasn't won anything yet? Well, to be fair, I think I think if you look at Real Madrid, the season that they're probably going to have this year, I, I, I actually genuinely feel, for Real Madrid, Real Madrid fans, I feel quite scared. Um... Because you've you've took out how many goals out of their side now from Ronaldo 50. alone. It's about fifty, isn't it? Uh, who's going to step up in that team? This could be the year that. Well, I genuinely think this is the year they're probably not going to win the Champions League. Um, for maybe for a few more years. I don't even know the manager. I don't even know the manager. I don't even know who the manager is. Settle down right up for that yeah, one. Then. <laughs> I I don't even know who the manager is. Right, so. But I'm not saying again. I'm not saying Liverpool are going to go all the way again this time because it was a, it was a big ask, and I think a lot of things went our way and had to go our way for it to happen. But I'd be happy with because I think it's easy to go top four again because like, I'm not going to say that. But we are the way we play football anyway. We're probably the second best team in the league, so I'd love it if if we finish at least second and we win a cup this year. I'd be happy with that. I kind of feel like that for Everton, other than. Finishing seventh. If we can, no. <laughs> seventh in a cup. Yeah, I, I so desperately Eighth want a cup. cup. Problem is though, we've never got past the um, I think the, the the fifth round of the FA Cup on the clock, which is mm. very worrying. We you know we always never seem to get up for it the way we should. It's and um, the <laughs> and um, you know what we need to stop these Alan Pardew. We need him back in the league. Yeah. That dance, we're... that dance needs. Who could he fit? Watford. Watford. Who have you got second, Joe? You've got to be I've with gone Watford Manchester now. United. Why have you done that? Because <laughs> you don't want Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that way? <laughs> yeah. <Liverpool>? Yeah. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> that noise then just said, yeah, they probably. Is. I can't see them. I can't see them imploring like he's uh, Marino did on the Ch- on the Chelsea a few seasons ago. I think it'd be a lot more catastrophic if he did though. The yeah, size will, of yeah, like yeah, true. But I think Manchester United are more. Kind of professional than Chelsea way. Do you or think they're better? Be more professional than Chelsea. Do you think they're better Chelsea. equipped to, to finish second than any any of the other teams? I think so. Yeah. Like you even think that they'll finish ahead? I think, like I, I think they've got the best keeper in the league, mm-hmm. and they've got one of the best centre forwards in the league, Lukaku. Mm-hmm. Potentially should have the best midfielder in the league under Pogba. But he's not. He's shit. Well, no, he, sh- no, he no, should no, be. No. He should be. Um, they just need to sometimes, you know, sometimes just let them let them play. Let yeah. them play. That's yeah. that's exactly the thought. If sometimes it'd be best if Man United go behind in a game, every now and again, so they could. Just the the Palace them. game last season, yeah. where I think it finished three oh. three. The way they, they attacked three, the last two. three two, sorry, yeah, three two. The Matic goal was the winner. Mm. The way they played that last twenty minutes was was amazing. It probably the best I've seen United play at all that season mm. as well. But. United fans probably just wish that would happen more often. Yeah. I just don't think it will. Hence why I just don't think they'll finish in, in the top two. Maybe even not even the top three. Or I, top don't, I don't need I get top four. Um, need I ask who you've got first? Who's left? You well, know, we've got... Pep um, well, the oldest boys, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Man, who's that? Man, Manchester's? Manchester City. Yeah. yeah I, I mean... Yeah. They're second. I don't see them being that good this year. You know? <laughs> no, no, do you know what? The, the, way, the, the fact... You mentioned in the other video before. They, they had a... A disjointed 11 against Arsenal and still beat them convincingly. Mm. That says all you need to know about uh, Manchester City. If that was their base level on Saturday and the season before they finished on 100 points, I, right. I will applaud, I will bow down to any team. It pisses me off though, Guardiola. He always seems to fucking ruin fucking Klopp. He did it at Bayern Munich at Dortmund. Obviously well, Dortmund. That's purely because Klopp isn't good enough. Well, is it though? Or is yeah. it just because exactly. Guardiola is exactly. a fucking <laughs> fraud? It's not just Klopp. I mean, Unai Emery has done it. Zidane did it. Who against Guardiola? Klopp. We're talking, about, oh, we're to- oh, yes, we're sorry, talking yeah. here now about Klopp's obviously yeah. finals record because because getting to a final is now something to be uh, scoffed at. Because, even because even never Pellegrini get, did it. Because Pellegrini never getting into the Champions League. And he's shit. Because Everton never <laughs> getting into the Champions League. 
this year and this Beautiful. or the past few years isn't isn't anywhere in, you know obviously that's you can still laugh at Liverpool for getting to the final can't you? how many did you win for getting to the final well you know what I mean it doesn't really matter does it? it's it's the, the like you finish. said like you just said before <laughs> I'm sure you said it before Joe didn't you you just want to enjoy the season mm. now we've enjoyed our past three seasons on the clock have you just can enjoy it no. yeah, yeah. I haven't enjoyed enjoy anything enjoy since yeah. 2014 we played, we played amazing football we scored fucking bucket loads of goals we've got the best front three in, in, in Europe I think but, you take us too serious we know we get in your heads we know you think well, about us all is that, the time is that, <laughs> is that you get in our heads or is that is that your are like we're family in your head because you have to then bring that up not really I, I try I forget everything about every other club expect this on nearly every podcast honestly, by the way people. honestly the only time I will watch yous will be when we play yous and you get beat well, probably for most likely yeah, yeah. I, I did go to Anfield more times than you last season. Good way to end the podcast, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to end the podcast. Wow. Um, that's a message to Liverpool's uh, season ticket waiting list, actually. Um, you boys there are we go. If any of you want to you know, apply for the season ticket, Bramley Moore Dock, <laughs> Bramley Moore Dock, we're open to yeah. 68,000. No, the Bramley Moore Dock, though, is the uh, Osmanad Moore Dock. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we could steal. Um, you know the the Indian striker. Small club mentality, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you later.